Hi everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to convert PowerPoint files to PDF in Power Automate. As a reminder, this will work the same way in Logic Apps as well. To perform this flow, we will be using a Cloudmersive document conversion connector. Before we get started, remember to like and subscribe for more tutorials on using Cloudmersive connectors in Power Automate and Logic Apps. To start our flow, our first step will be to click the Create button on the left-hand side of the Power Automate home screen. Then, we need to choose Instant Flow and manually trigger a flow, and then press Create. Now that we've reached our flow page, we can begin adding steps. Our first connector will be the Get File Content action in OneDrive. For our file input, you can choose whichever PowerPoint file you want to convert. After this, we'll add our next connector. This will be a Cloudmersive document conversion connector. We need to choose the Convert PowerPoint PPTX Presentation to PDF action. Note that if you've never used one of our connectors before, you'll be prompted to enter your API key. This is free on the Cloudmersive website with no commitment. And once you've entered it here, you won't be asked for it again. For our input file, we will add in the file content from the previous action. The input file name, should be whatever you'd like, followed by .pptx. Then we can add our final connector. This will be the Create File in OneDrive action. Choose your desired folder path, and then add in a file name followed by .pdf. For our file content, we will choose the output content from the Document Conversion action. Once we've completed our steps, we can save our flow. To check it, we're going to press Test in the upper right corner. Once the option box shows up, click on I'll perform the trigger action and press Test. Then you should click Continue, Run Flow, and then Done. After clicking Done, you will see green check marks next to all of the connectors showing that the flow worked. Sometimes it takes a second or two for all of the check marks to appear, so don't stress if that happens to you. If your flow doesn't work for some reason, check to make sure that your original input file was valid for the connector, meaning it was a PPTX file, and that the names you chose for your files throughout the flow were followed by their file type, such as .pptx and .pdf. Now you can check your chosen folder for your newly converted PDF document. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to subscribe and check back in for more tutorials and tips on using Cloudmersive connectors in Power Automate.